Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you've got blurred vision, that's just one of the symptoms of retinal detachment, which can happen to anybody. So Dr. Gawain Dyer with the San Antonio Eye Center is here to talk about proper treatment because without it, you can actually go yeah, blind. You can, you can go blind without treatment. So you have to know the signs and the symptoms of retinal detachment, and it can really happen to anybody. Let's talk about what you're holding here because this is, what, like 50 years old? It, is, it is pretty old. Look at this yeah. eye, 50 years old. It's supposed to be white, right? It's supposed to be white. It's, it's, you know, we thought it might look whiter side. on TV, but I guess not. No, not really. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about what retinal detachment is. All right, so in order to understand what retinal detachment is, you really have to understand what the retina is. Okay. So if I open this eyeball ah! here, okay. <laughs> the retina is the thin neural tissue that lines the back wall of the eye. Okay. I always like using the analogy of a camera. So your eye has a lens, just like a camera has a lens, and your retina would be the film for that camera. So just like a camera would be useless without film, your eye is pretty useless without the uh, retina. Okay. It, it focuses light to your nerve, which goes to your brain. Okay, so, so let's talk about, so, so does it hurt? Would you notice any pain if, if you are well, suffering from question. that? Well, that's a good question. You're not going to really have any pain. Okay. Now, if I pinch your knee, you're going to say, ouch. Right. That's because you have pain receptors. Yeah, I thought receptors. you were going to do it. I'm no, so I'm glad not going to pinch your knee. No. <laughs> okay. Well, you have pain receptors on right. your knee, but your eye, your retina doesn't have any pain receptors. Okay. What it has is photoreceptors. So if something tugs and pulls at the retina or pinches the retina, you're going to see a flashing light because those little tiny photoreceptors go off. So, so those that's are some of the signs. symptoms. Yes. Okay. Yes. What, what are the other symptoms? Blurred vision, the flashes of light. So blurred vision, definitely. Uh -huh. The flashing lights. Occasional flash, I'm not too worried about, but a, a, a lot of flashing lights. Some patients describe it as kind of fireworks going off in the eye. Um, definitely if a curtain or drape, uh, a peripheral visual, visual cut happens, that means that the retina can actually be detaching. I think we have a uh, slide of the... Uh, Let's see what we have. Okay, so that's so, retinal detachment. Yeah, so this is actually a patient. You can see up above there, it's kind of out of focus. And the reason why it's out of focus is because the retina is actually detached right above there. Okay, I was worried I had blurred vision for no. a second. <laughs> okay, you're good. <laughs> okay. You're good. Okay, and then I think we have some slides on, uh, what is it, on, on some of the symptoms, right? Or wait, yeah. this is surgery. So surgery. This, yeah, so this is actually the surgery. So... There's a lot of different ways that you can repair the retina. If you have a retinal detachment, basically you're going to the operating room to repair the retinal detachment. If you don't repair the retinal detachment, more than likely it's going to lead to blindness. Okay, okay so that slide that we just showed was showing what's called a vitrectomy, which is really just making three small incisions around the white part of the eye, okay? And going behind the eye, removing the vitreous, which is the tractional component. It's a jelly component behind the eye. You remove the vitreous, and you put a gas bubble in the eye to reattach the retina. Um, or you can put oil in the eye. Okay. The difference between a gas bubble and oil, gas stays in the eye for about four to six weeks and it self-absorbs. Self your, your own natural fluids replace the gas bubble. Uh -huh. The oil bubble stays in the eye until the uh, doctor takes it out. Okay, so depending on what procedure you're getting done, how soon before you, pardon the pun, see results? Um, well, if the gas bubble is in the eye, Typically about four to six weeks it takes for the gas bubble to go away, uh -huh. but not all patients have improvement in their vision after retinal detachment. Okay. Some patients, the vision will stay the same. The real goal of the surgery is to reattach the retina and make sure that the vision does not get any worse okay. so you can keep your eye. Okay. Now, who is at risk for retinal detachment? Definitely uh, patients that are very nearsighted, like myself. Okay. okay? Um, being nearsighted, the eyeball is a little bit longer than the average eyeball. So that puts stress on your retina, and you can develop a break in the retina. So in order to have a retinal detachment, you have to have a break, okay? You have to have some traction, which comes from that vitreous, and you have to have fluid that goes under that break, and the retina detaches, kind of like wallpaper detaching from a wall. Okay. All right. So once again, if you have any of those symptoms, you want to definitely call the San Antonio Eye Center at 210-226-6169. That's 226-6169, or visit saeye.com.